If you need to shape, level or thin out a piece of timber, then a power planer is what you need. We're going to show you some different types of planes you can use. The main point of a plane is to basically remove timber off a wooden door, for example, or remove timber off a windowsill. You're actually just shaving off the timber or you're leveling out pieces of timber. Um, especially in wintertime when your doors swell, it's a perfect time for it. You actually want to take a thin layer of timber off the actual door. There's the old fashioned type. They do work pretty well. It is a hand plane and it's all done manually. It's got a blade which comes through the bottom which you can adjust the height of your cut and you basically slide that across your timber and it shaves off a layer of timber. Now what you start off by doing is you can always it'll make a little mark here of where you want to go down to so you keep shaving until you get to that line. And also a good way to pick up the unevenness of the timber to make sure you've planed off enough is just to mark it. Just give it a pencil mark on the top and as you plane through you're going to take that layer off and the pencil will show up where you haven't actually skimmed off. We're going to start off with a manual planer. Good even level strokes all the way across the timber starting from the edge. Always make sure you finish right off the edge of the timber. Right now after a couple of strokes you can see that the timber is uneven. You've got different high spots and low spots and you can pick that up from your pencil marks that have been come off. And you can also see it's taking off a thin, thin layer of shavings off. So basically keep going until you've got that mark out completely. Although this has the perception of being an old fashioned tool, it's actually a fantastic tool. Um, perfect for delicate work, accurate, slow, good finish and uh, getting the exact shape that you want. You can even put it on the side and just take off that sharp edge on the edge of the timber as well. Now obviously before you do any planing it's very important to make sure that you don't have any nails, any staples or any hard chips inside there which is going to damage your blade. So give it a good inspection first. If there are, remove them out with some pliers or a hammer using a claw hammer before you get cracking. Now obviously when you're putting a planer down you'll see it's on its side. You can't put it flat because you will damage the blade on the front there. So avoid doing that, keep it always on its side. Otherwise, if you have a, a piece of wood spread out, you can always keep it elevated, then it's fine. Okay, we're going to move over to an electric power planer. Now this guy is great. Once we've plugged him in later, we've got a rotating blade here. Just keep spinning around and around and around. It's all controlled on the finger control here. You can adjust the height to depend on how much wood you want to take off. But you must be careful because these guys can be quite aggressive if you don't handle it carefully. Okay, but before we start with this, obviously, let's look at some safety. This is going to be quite a noisy guy. We've got some earmuffs, safety goggles as usual, some gloves. Well, as usual, I like to have control of my tool, so I'm not going to wear the gloves this time. And most importantly, we're using power tools. Take your watch off. Your ring. Now, before you put this ring down somewhere and it gets lost, find somewhere where you will find it again. Preferably the same place every time. So I'm actually putting it on my keys that way. My wife's not going to get the mur in when I've lost my ring. Right, there is a safety switch on the side here. You can't start the planer without pushing that first and then away your planer goes. Please be very careful, always keep it on its side, never flat on the table. You're going to plug it in. Now, to start off with, we're going to just take a small cut. We can always cut more off at a later stage. Take it gently, cut by cut. Before we get started, we'll quickly show you how to do it. Line it up onto the timber, off the edge, and then we're going to strike all the way across like that. Make sure you finish past the timber, don't stop halfway. Finish the stroke, and as I said, we can adjust the height of the blade. You also notice a lot of the timber shavings are going to come out of here. You can get an attachment which can clip on and capture all those shavings as well, so it's not going to make a big mess. Now 
Right, as you can see, much, much easier than a hand plane, but a little bit more aggressive. But um, what's nice about it, we've got a nice sharp edge, it's smooth, it took all the timber off that we wanted to, and it was effortless. That was the fun part. You can also actually put it on the edge to take off a nice 45 bevel. You'll see here, in the front there, there's a groove for it to slot into. So I'll quickly show you that now as well. That's going to actually slot in there, and you're going to take a nice 45 groove off. There you go, you've got a nice 45 beveled edge, all neat and tidy, and that was effortless, absolutely effortless. So, the electric planer, it's the easy, easy DIY man, or you can go for the slightly more skilled hand planer, but you do get a much more accurate finish with a hand planer. When you finish with your planers, don't forget to give them a good clean, get a paintbrush, brush all the little timber shavings out, and often you get a lot of resin buildup from timber. So get some resin solvents, give it a good wipe down, clean it off. And if you can, a light spray of oil, and put it into a box and it'll last forever that way. Same goes exactly the same for the electric. Make sure it's unplugged first, of course. Brush it off, clean out all the air vents. Any resin buildup, give that a wipe down. And then it's good to go for the next time you need to use it. As for blades, don't forget to keep inspecting your blades. You want to look for any damage. If they are damaged, you want to replace them. You can take them out here. To remove these blades, take out these two screws using an Allen key. The blade will come out, pop in the new one, set it in, and away you go again. If you have any queries or questions, ask the guys at your local builders for advice.